Hi, um, my name is Charles Dye, and we're here at SAE Miami. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, all the tools that we use for vocal mixing and techniques for how we use them to take a lead vocal from sounding well recorded, but but in the sense of sounding like a polished record, it can initially sound kind of flat and lifeless. And we'll bring it to that place uh, where um, it sort of sounds like it's just popping out of the speakers and, and at the same time blending perfectly with the track, not making it sound too small. The, uh, the trick with a vocal, once you have a well-recorded vocal, um, the trick is to find a way to make it seem always present. The goal when mixing a vocal is to keep the audience, the listener, always connected with the singer. That girl is all I'm thinking about. Spend my time, try to think, try to figure her out. I've got to know, got to know how I can get her. Oh, yeah, yeah. We use compression to even out the dynamics of it and make the softest and loudest syllables all sort of be right up front. Uh, we use EQ um, to even out the frequencies in the, the voice. And then we use ambience treatment, reverb and delay, to uh, place a space around the vocal so that the vocal can sound big and large and important, yet at the same time not feel uh, drowning in reverb. We have essentially those three main tools and they are dealing with these three basic ideas uh, that we spend a lot of time uh, diving into here at school uh, uh, of treating the vocals via um, amplitude adjustment, so volume adjustment, um, frequency adjustment, meaning uh, what we use EQs for, and then spatial adjustment, which we use the reverbs and delays for. So uh, in the next videos, uh, we'll be taking a look at each of the tools and how we accomplish this.